The glacier-covered peaks of Mount Elbrus are still shrouded in cloud. People have given the mountain many names. Mount of Happiness, High Guardian, Sacred Heights. Then the clouds disperse around the double summit. Lisa Paul is originally from southern Germany, but she now lives here and loves it. 17 years ago, she traded the Alps for the slopes of Mount Elbrus. The mountains here are higher than the ones at home. Winters are longer. You could say they last half the year. And it's wilder, though not as much as it was 20 years ago. It's really fantastic. It's a challenge. You feel like a pioneer here. Mount Elbrus's reputation is growing among winter sports enthusiasts. Some 350,000 tourists a year come here most of them from Russia. There's good service away from the slopes as well. If you want to spend a pleasant evening, you can go to a sauna. There are good restaurants and discotheques. We like it here. The downhill runs here are excellent. And you can take interesting routes off-piste, where the snow is soft. If you want to try free riding, off-piste snowboarding or skiing on Mount Elbrus, you can't go wrong getting in contact with Lisa. She works as a ski and snowboarding instructor, and she's also a mountain guide. Free riding is a passion she's eager to share. You do have to be able to ski or snowboard a little. Everything else you basically learn from us. There are various levels and we adjust our instruction to them, from beginners to super professional courses or jumping, whatever you want. A few decades ago, it was a little more peaceful and traditional around Mount Elbrus. But even in the Soviet era, the ski area was the pride of the nation. It was a resort for the elite and a number of feature films were shot here. Nowadays, mountaineers from around the world come to Mount Elbrus when they tour the seven highest peaks on every continent. Despite its location in the Caucasus, they consider it to be Europe's highest summit at 5,642 meters, rather than Mont Blanc on the border between France and Italy. They argue that because Mount Elbrus lies geographically and politically in Russia, it's in Europe. I came here from Tomsk in Siberia to climb the highest peak in Europe, and it's here. That's the plan. Let's hope the weather plays along. We're not taking any risks. If the weather's bad and we don't feel fit, We'll acclimatize ourselves here at 4,500 meters for longer than we'd originally planned. And spend the night here at this station. And then they're off on their way to the summit. And it's well worth coming to southwestern Russia for the adventure. Tourists won't be competing with the local skiers anytime soon. Many of them are professional free riders. It's an indescribable feeling. Listening to the fresh snow crunch as you go through it. You get the feeling that free riding is experiencing real nature. 
When you start to free ride, there's no going back. You want to go everywhere and try it out. It's addictive. But of course, it's also important to know where it's dangerous and where it's not. All in all, winter sports on Mount Elbrus are absolutely tops, and not just in the geographic sense.